and welcome to a new reading vlog. I am on my phone for the first bit of this vlog because I broke my SD card and so my camera is just a heap of metal until the new one comes in. Um, I have not read very much today. It's Wednesday. Thursday? What day is it? It's Thursday. Oh, well, this reading vlog is starting very late. But I took my finals and that went pretty well. Um, and now I am back home. It is winter break. I have just been watching The Flash though. Um, but I'm planning on reading today. Right now we're running some errands with these dogs. I'm, I'm not a dog person and there's a lot of dogs in the car right now. But um, I'm going to get a coffee and then after that I will have time to go home and read. And I'm very excited. I just thought I'd get this one started and um, I will go ahead and update you later. Hello, so a little update. I haven't read at all. I was going to sit here and watch one episode of The Flash and then read. Uh, but the episode of The Flash I'm on was part one of the, you know, probably 12 part crossovers that they do. So I'm, I just, I have to keep watching. I'm going to watch the Arrow episode and then I'm going to read. But I realized I didn't say what I was reading earlier. Um, I am still on Clockwork Prince. I think I'm only like 15% in, maybe. Um, but I'd like to finish that, like, um, by this weekend and then read the third one as well. Um, and then I'm actually getting my angelic rune tattoo finally next week. So it's kind of perfect that I'm reading, um, those books right now while I am getting ready to go get that tattoo. So I thought I would just update, um, what I am actually reading. Um, I got a coffee, so that'll be fun. Um, and I should, I should be doing some reading, but these CW crossovers, they just, they get me. <laughs> um, but I will go ahead and update you maybe tonight or tomorrow. Hello, reading update. It is Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday the 14th and, um, my SD card is still not here for my camera. So we're still on my iPhone real classy stuff, but um, I just started an audiobook called We Met in December by Rosie Curtis for a fun little Christmas read. I am two hours in and I'm already loving it. It takes place in London, so everyone's got some fun accents. And then um, it's gonna be a romance book and I really like it so far. I like the setup. I like the two main characters. The girl is really relatable and I like her and um, the main guy character is actually training to be a nurse, which I really like. Um, so I am enjoying it so far. I'm gonna go keep listening to that. I've been making some cookies and I do have to get ready for a Christmas party tonight. I'm mostly ready, but um, I'm gonna go ahead, keep listening to that for a while. And then I'm also 25% into um, Clockwork Angel. No, Clockwork Prince? Prince is the second one? I can't keep track. I was gonna finish that yesterday and then I didn't. Um, but I think I could finish it today. I have like four or five hours left in it um, and I think I can make it work maybe. We'll see. I do want to get some reading done for that one today at least. Uh, I probably, once the cookies are done, I'll probably switch over to reading that. Um, but for now, I will go ahead and update you later tonight or tomorrow. from Sunday night. I still don't have my SD card, um, but I did not end up finishing either of my books today, but it is on my to-do list for tomorrow for sure. I think I'll have more time to do it tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, um, but I am going to sit and read for a bit right now. I did get farther in my audiobook. We met in December. I am 70% of the way through, I think now, um, so I'll definitely think I'll be able to finish that one tomorrow, and then I have like four hours left in Clockwork Prince. Um, I'm gonna read for a bit right now and then hopefully be able to finish tomorrow. And I'm really excited because I just feel like I'm in the reading mood and I'm gonna go get some reading done. I did not open the chapter three prompt for the Winter Magical Readathon yet. Um, I think I'll open it tomorrow when I'm actually finished with week two's prompt, which for me, I'm using Clockwork Prints. Um, I know you don't necessarily have to do it in that order, but I'm just waiting to get it done. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go read, and I'll update you tomorrow, hopefully with my camera, because my SD card is supposed to be here tomorrow. So we'll see. Hello, an update 
finally from my camera. My SD card came today. Um, it is already almost three o'clock. I've had a bit of a busy day. I went for a run this morning. I babysat for a while. I had errands to run in which I slipped and fell in a parking lot. It's not, I live where there's no snow. It's not like I slipped on ice. I just slipped on nothing. So that was really fun. Super embarrassing. Um, but then I came back in, um, showered and everything and I finished. We met in December by Rosie Curtis and I'm gonna give it a five out of five stars. I absolutely adored it. For romance, it's definitely on the lighter romance side just because they didn't get together right away in the book. There's not a whole lot of like smut or anything, like it's a very clean book. I did still really enjoy it. It was such a sweet read and I'm glad I just randomly picked it up. I really liked it. Um, and then I have about an hour and a half left now in uh, Clockwork Prince, I think, so I'm gonna go finish that too because uh, that's my last thing on my to-do list today. Other than I am actually getting another tattoo today and I am going to get the Angelic Rune from the Marnel's Instrument series on my ankle and I just think it's so perfect that I'm reading these books when I'm gonna go do that. Um You saw I went and got my tattoo today of the angelic rune and I'm absolutely in love with it um, I am so excited I finally got the chance to get this tattoo it's one I wanted to get a couple years ago and did not get the chance to so I was very excited to finally get this one um, I have I think about an hour left of clockwork prints so I'm gonna go finish that tonight and then go to bed because it's already pretty late um, but I will update you tomorrow with um, the chapter 3 um, for the readathon and um, whatever I'm gonna read next because I have no idea. <laughs> Hello, a reading update. I thought I would quickly do the chapter three. It is, um, what day is it? It's Tuesday, um, about noon. So last night I did end up finishing Clockwork Prince. I absolutely loved it. The scene that I thought was the epilogue of the first one actually happened in this one and it wasn't even an epilogue. It was just something that happened. Um, but I'm so excited for it. I'm noticing that I know for the fact, a fact, that the first time I read this I was all about Will and Tessa. I just thought they were so perfect together and they are, to be fair, but this time around I'm really leaning towards Jem, which I find really interesting. I don't know why. Um, I think it also, just like hindsight, because I know what happens, I know who she ends up with, you know, sort of, you, you, if you know, if you've read the book, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I really loved it. I am definitely going to read Clockwork Princess as well, um, but I'm going to go ahead and see what my chapter three book is, although I might just end up reading three books at once right now, because I also would like to start the audiobook of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, because uh, there's the new movie coming out, and I figured it's a classic I haven't read, and I feel like it's sort of along the lines of Jane Austen, and it's something I would enjoy. It's also a hello long book so we'll see um but I rented the audiobook from the library so I'm hoping to hopefully start that today chapter three I kind of hope clockwork princess just fits into my prompt but we'll see so I'm just gonna read that I'm out out loud because my screen recording is not working chapter three alohomora you're at Hogwarts now classes start today you're going to the great hall and what are you going to eat? Buttered toast, eggs, sausages, and bacon, or warm cinnamon and honey porridge? Well, I don't really like porridge. That's oatmeal, right? But I, I'm, I usually go for sweet stuff, but I'm going to go with the buttered toast and eggs. That's more of a real breakfast to me. We're going to herbology. I don't think I would do well in herbology. Just to be completely honest, it would not be my best class. It says there is a dueling club. It says Seamus first meeting tonight. Um, an angry filch. Da da da. Oh, the 500th death day party. I would actually kind of enjoy going to that. Don't you want to go to the school feast? Blah blah blah. And you've got Quidditch practice. Bold of this thing to assume that I would be on the Quidditch team because I absolutely would not. Um, no, it wouldn't work for me. Go to the dueling club meeting, go to Nearly Headless Nick's 500th death day party, or go to Quidditch practice. I'm gonna go to Nearly Headless Nick's death day party. I just wanna, I feel like you can learn a lot from ghosts. Okay, my reading prompt. Read a paranormal book or a book that has ghosts. 
Am I gonna use Clockwork Princess? Well, t yeah. There's a ghost in that one. I'm a hundred percent sure. Well, does the when does the ghost? Jess Jesse has a ghost at some point. I don't know when it comes up. I don't know if it's in Mortal Instruments or in these ones. <laughs> does that count? There's ghosts because that's where Will buys the Yen Fen is from a ghost, and he also would buy stuff for Magnus from a ghost. So does that count? So I think I'm gonna use Clockwork Princess for that prompt just because I'm making my life easy. But I also might pick, I might look at the romances I wanted to read and see if there's one that would be paranormal. Um, I'm gonna go decide that, but I will update you later. Hello, I thought I would do a quick update. It is Thursday. I don't know if I updated yesterday. I didn't read a whole lot yesterday. Um, I went to a coffee shop and I was like, oh, I'll sit there and read for a while, and then I didn't. Um, but I am 20-ish percent into Clockwork Princess. Uh, nothing has happened yet, uh, but I do love seeing Magnus. That's really fun. And then I am on chapter 10 of Little Women, and I am really enjoying that. Um, so I have about 15 hours left. And then I'm also, I rented this book yesterday. I had two, I had a library uh, hold coming yesterday, and honestly I don't know if I'm going to read it, because I've actually seen a few bad reviews, so um, I don't know about that one yet. But I rented... Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. The prompt for chapter three right now is a paranormal romance and um, I kind of think I might pick this one up. I'm not sure yet. I know Clockwork Princess counts as a paranormal um, but I kind of want to try a paranormal romance like in the adult world. Um, I don't know if I'll like it but I'm thinking about picking that one up. Um, for now I'm going to listen to Little Woman a little bit more, and then I have a couple doctor's appointments today, so I'm kind of busy running around, um, but I'll hopefully still get some reading done, and I'll update you later. update it is friday yesterday i did go to the mall for quite a while and i spent some time in barnes and noble the things i got there were both gifts so i got a book for my nephew and a book for a friend of mine i surprisingly did not buy anything for myself um but i'm actually straightening my hair and just getting ready we are going to go to half price books and there I think I'll probably buy myself some things. As for a reading update, I am on chapter 17 of Little Women and I'm absolutely like in love with this story. I think it's such an interesting narrative and I just really love these characters. Um, and I have been listening to that for a lot of the morning and then last night I got about f almost 40% in to Clockwork Princess and I'm gonna try and finish that today. That's my goal. It says I have like four or five hours left in the book and I feel like I can somehow squeeze that all in. We'll see. That's my goal for today. I'm gonna go straighten my hair and um, hopefully get some reading done. It is really late Friday night. It is almost midnight. Um, I did, the plans I had tonight ended up being a bit longer than I expected, so I did not finish my book. I didn't even get close. I also think I probably wasted quite a bit of time today. Oh, but I want to show you the books I got. I went to Half Price Books and grabbed a few. Uh, a couple of them are gifts, so I won't include those. But First, I got The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. I got a older illustrated copy of A Little Woman. I meant to get this at um, Barnes & Noble, but I didn't like the copy they had there. And I kind of like the old like ones with more character when it comes to classics. I got Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha McGann, and I'm so excited for this one. Lastly, I got A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kim... Kimmer? I don't know how to say her name. I'm so beyond excited for this one. I will pick this one up 
pretty much right away, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's the book explosion book of the month. I don't think I could catch up by then, but um, I'm so excited to read that one. I'll probably still wrap these up and save them for Christmas because I'm that person even though I bought them. I'm saving them for Christmas. Um, then I got a couple gifts and I'm really excited. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go read a little bit. I'm only halfway through Clockwork Princess. I will hopefully be able to finish tomorrow. I just wasted a lot of time doing nothing today, but I'm gonna go to bed early because I wanna get up and do a hike. And then we've got some stuff to get done tomorrow. So it'll get busy, but um, I will hopefully finish tomorrow. I feel like I haven't read as much as I wanted to this break. So I really wanna get on that. Sunday. I did end up finishing um, A Clockwork Princess last night and I absolutely loved it. I cried. The everything that happens with Will and with Jim at the end I had like remembered but forgot about the details and it was just so insane to read and then Henry was like oh it was so much so much happened um and I just loved it so much and the ascension scene I had completely forgot about that so that was really cool to read and they actually mentioned Cortana in this so the sword that is the main one of the main focuses in the dark artifices which obviously when I read this the first time I didn't notice that because those ones weren't even out yet so it was just insane to get that little easter egg and then the epilogue was it killed me and it just makes me really want to read um, Chain of Gold as soon as possible. Um, but I'm not entirely sure when that one's out, but I'm excited for it when it does come. Um, so yeah, overall, really, really enjoyed this reread. Um, and now I have literally no idea what I want to read next. So I think I'm just going to close out this reading vlog here and I'll start anew with um, my next one and figure out what I want to read next. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a little readathon tomorrow with my sister and, and also some people on Instagram. So hopefully we'll get a lot of reading done. I just have to pick what I want to read. Um, so right now I'm going to go see Star Wars. Um, so maybe not a whole lot of reading will get done right now. But I will go ahead and close out this here. I hope you enjoyed. I upload every Sunday, or at least I try to. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.